this Izola country. Let's upgrade our defenses, which are already pretty upgraded so far. It's so expensive to upgrade things. I think we're going to have to just deal with what we have. A lot of hellfire here. The assault leader. We have the slave keeper, the scorcher. The one and only hogrish, the one and only. That sounds like a very cool one. Wait. Booth the one and then hogrish the one and only. That's funny. The Gatekeeper and Azteru Iron Arm. Okay, let's actually double check before we enter the, the siege that we have every all of our guys are bodyguards. Alright. Those who dare challenge Olog Country will be met with their heads removed from their shoulders. Long enough. That fortress will be ours again. Don't worry, I'll make you our gatekeeper. Uh, we gotta take out these. take that out this is gonna be an insane fight because they got a lot of stuff loaded up okay perimeter has been breached they're already into the main area so we gotta work i gotta work my way back over there excuse me okay Uh, okay. Grog the Burner is Poog the Burner, the Grog Burner. Someone already is KO'd for that. Uh, big explosions. The Drake has been let out. That's very strange and scary. We're gonna grab this guy. And then... Iron Willed has also been KO'd by Push Crimp. Push Crimp, literally the goat. Okay, we're gonna jump off that. Um, hi. Uh, let's grab this. And I. We're gonna dominate the, the Drake and jump off him. Uh, and then we're gonna fly over there. Didn't mean to hit you, Push Crimp. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry, Push Crimp. Uh, one of our guys are bleeding all the way over there. Why? Uh, okay. Um, I'll just leave him to die. I could get that guy, but I'm gonna leave him to die. Maybe if we can make it back fast enough. Why are you bleeding? Who are you? And why are you bleeding? Okay, someone else is bleeding over there now. And... Okay. He's taken out. The gatekeeper's taken out by the poet. Thank you, poet. That hopefully isn't push crimp down. Uh, it looks like it's push crimp. Oh. Okay. So people have snuck in back there now. Hopefully everybody... Or is there people over here too? There's a ton of people in this in this raid. I would love to climb up. Uh, okay. Those guys are kind of handling it. I guess we'll we'll focus on this one first. Oh, this is one of the ones and onlys. Okay. Everywhere. 
Are these guys? No, the only. But wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, does this? These guys don't show up here, do they? No. I'm trying to read. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. Are these guys unbreakable? Ah, of course they're unbreakable because they're really cool and interesting orcs, right? Okay. Because they they weren't being broken, so I was very concerned. One of the guys retreating. Uh, okay, this is Olog country. Can you guys stop? Unless the, the self-same one? What? Are any... Uh, okay. Oh my god, so many people. So many people, so many people. Okay, move out of my way. This is Olog country. Move out of my way. Bush crimp. Oh my god, so many people are bleeding. Yeah, we got you, we got you. Uh, are any of these breakable? No. That's the prowler. The one... Can I... Can I please? Can I please? Who's hitting me? And why? Fuck off. Oh my god. What's happening? Okay, that guy's dead. Can someone take on this nerd? I'm trying to heal our friends here. Okay, hurry. Oh my god, Hog... Uh, Borgu. You don't need to be dropping bombs like that. Okay, please stop. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're back in the fight. Thank you. Uh, let's fly over this way. No? Okay, game's broken. Got it. Excellent. Uh, who are you guys? You guys are just fighting each other, aren't you? St oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Push crimp, I love you. Stop killing everyone on our team. Uh, booth the one. Okay. Finally. Oh my god, stop. Okay. Okay, okay. This is Olog country, guys. We got this. Positive reinforcement. That's how you get through tough situations, right? The war banners are... Like crazy. Uh, someone's broken over there? That guy's fear of executing. We haven't really gotten anybody. Who are you? You look like a, a bruise almost. But it is Olog country. The quartermaster. Stay and fight for us. Oh, who is that dude? That dude's cool. Okay. 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 Where am I going? Who? Who's broken? And where am I going? I think he's enraged now. Uh. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I had to pause for two seconds to like breathe. Okay. Um. Oh my God. Borgu, the slave keeper, the literate one. Okay. Uh. So that guy's dead now. By Lorem, they're deranged. Oh my god, so many people are bleeding. Do we. Okay, I need to grab. I need to grab. Uh, Iron Arm's dead. I need to grab. I really need to grab arrows. I need to grab arrows. I need to grab arrows. I need to grab arrows. So many broken people over here. Uh, did we just win? They surrendered, I think. Holy. Oh. That one was a difficult. Oh, that was a difficult defense. Did we gain? Did we gain anybody from that other than the guy? Uh, is he still bleeding? No. Oh, that was stress. 
Oh, did I get anyone? No. No, we have Bega. We did get this guy, the quartermaster. You can guard Pushcrimp. Pushcrimp was actually ridiculous in that in that fight. Pushcrimp has always been crazy. He was with us on the fight on the bridge. Like Pushcrimp is ridiculous for some reason. He is cracked to the gills for some reason. He is crazy. He's just enraged like constantly. Like that's his whole thing. He's enraged by mortal wounds, burning, becomes enraged after countering a strong enemy, enraged by Crimp Maneater, who's his rival, enraged by Morgul Flies, and is just enraged constantly. Which is also part of our issue. Who is... Wasn't it... We have Crimp here, right? Uh, Crimp, yeah. Crimp is... I, I actually didn't plan that, but I, I made Crimp his friend. Because... Uh, or his follower, because it's Push Crimp and Crimp. They're brothers. But the fact that he is... He is um, enraged by Crimp just being there. And him being his bodyguard works out very well. I'm thinking maybe we get Arkaisu, the quartermaster, to be uh, Saragoth's next, next top pit fighter. Next top pit fighter. Because we haven't done the pit fighting yet, and that's something we got to do. Arkaisu entering the first round of Saragoth's next top pit fighter. The last pit fighters have had some extreme luck in hit, in their fights and was able to, I mean, luck and skill, but were able to pick up the wins. Could we find another early victory unlike Minas Morgul, which probably should have been our main event? Oh my god, a major hit to the back of the head and spine. The Ologs really have been finding their own in the pit fights. As our Olog won Nurin. And O dodges the club. The Gore King really holding his own here and trying to survive as he's being shredded alive by the elites. Oh, he's he's a very dodgy, tricky guy. Teleporting behind. He is very close to dying, but is holding on barely. It looks like our Kaisu can't figure out how to take him out completely, and he does it! Knocking him up and clobbering the head. Our Kaisu moves on to the next round of Saragoth's next top pit fighter. You wish you never met me. Takra Ugly Face enters in the round two with our Kaisu, the Quartermaster. It's Saragoth's next top pit fighter. The Quartermaster won his first round match and is moving on and wanting to be number one as he immediately gets two grabs off with that Olog clabbering, clobbering right hand. He's clamoring for a clobbering. He smacks him across the face with a club. Oh man, he is taking it. I completely shut off my brain and the quartermaster stood there and got stabbed for 30 minutes. An incredible showing by a dumbass. Insane. That's nuts, actually, how dumb he was just standing there. But you know what? It's refreshing, I guess, <laughs> that we don't immediately get a another win here. But Ugly Face, would you like to be Sarah? Yeah, that's definitely who I wanted. Huh? Huh? Hi, ugly face. Dream of conquering Mordor, eh? Well, 
I'm the nightmare that snuffs out such pleasant dreams. It's okay. I'll kill you. Or actually, I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to dominate you, but... Hi, right, I'm going to summon a grog. Hi, right, I'm going to summon a grog, I said. Dickheads. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Come on, ugly face. Don't you want to be in the Pit Fighter tournament? <laughs> we need some more uh, diversity. We've had a. I feel like we've got a lot of O logs. Maybe we don't have as many O logs as I thought, but or as as I think. Uh, okay. Oop. You are mine. Serve me. Oh, the fun will have. Will have. Retreat. Very well, Mom. Ooh. Dazes him again. Knocks him down again, I mean, rather. Ooh, but knocks him down in the classic strategy blocks and blocks. Classic match here. Beautiful mirror matchup. Ooh, grabs him in the stomach and tosses him to the ground. Taking advantage, even though he's poisoned. And he swipes the legs and separates his chest from his legs. Ugly face moves on to the second round of Sarah Goth's next top pit fighter. This may be o Olog country, but it also might be ugly country. Ugly face versus the brute. This is Olog country, so. I show you how to fight. You must be eager to die. He's got bombs and mines, immediately grabs him for that classic right hand into a mine as he gets back up. These beautiful combinations, making sure that Ugly Face can't even move. He doesn't know where he is right now. The mines completely discombobulating him. A beautiful strategy by the Brute. As the Brute gets him with another bomb, the Brute definitely incredibly impressive right here tossing him into the mines every he throws a bomb down and then tosses him into the mines tossing more bombs out this is a beautiful technique leaving ugly face no room to move as ugly face does get the stab off blocks the hit ugly face blocking all the hits with his big ass shield misses the stab though and the brute gets him stunned again stunned into another hit one more time and smacks him across the head oh ugly face enraged but it looks like the brute has taken ugly and wants to be the next face of saragoth showing it that it truly is olog country i'm actually interested in this guy he played incredibly well you know sometimes i like to pull out different people each time but this dude yeah that's who i wanted to to target. Hi, how's it going? I just want to dominate you for my pit fighting tournament. Hi. You think Sauron defeated? Sauron never defeated. Brawl Master. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna summon this. Hi. Okay. Oh. Oh, he's enraged by everything. Okay, I'm gonna shadow mount this thing because he's gonna end up killing him. We're gonna take him out. He's enraged by everything. I really need, uh, I really need this guy, honestly. I really need this guy. He's fireproof. Oh, he's enraged by everything. Can I freeze him? Oh, God. Okay. Come on. Stop being enraged and be broken. Okay. Oh. 
yeah. This guy's gonna be ridiculous. He's become the brawl master. Dude, you're gonna be ridiculous. See you in Saragoth's next top pit fighter, bro. The archer. He knows. He says, You want a long ranged battle? I'll give you one. As he picks him up and sends him flying into one of his mines. The archer gets up only to be stunned by his mines and the bombs. Continues to throw bombs, blasting them in the face of the archer. The brown's got nowhere to go. He's trying to fight out of the corner. As Arjanke takes him with that big swipe and the head right off. Beautiful. Showing that this is really Olag country. We will move him on to the next round. I think that this is going to be a close fight. If he can get the stuns off, it's an easy win. But I think this guy has an he has an army of people. He's dressed like Julius Caesar. He's got like an You're army of people that turn array I'm enraged. Show me what you've got. The brawl master. Immediate grab straight out the gate. Sends him flying. He's grabbing his gang of members and tosses him at him. He's enraged by everything. He starts taking it out on the... Ooh, some bombs and mines going off. Stuns the crowd. Immediately gets three... Oh, well, nearly three great hits off. Ooh, tosses some more. Ooh, big strike to the back. Blocks, but gets slash as well. Gets another slash. Throws the grenade down. Tosses another bomb. He needs to clear out. Oh, he's basically cleared out most of the guys the hunters i meant to give him archers but i guess i gave him hunters oh big slash they are very this very close here he's got to do something or he will die oh broke him he broke him this is a very close fight here oh and he was both one hit away they were both one hit away oh my god the closest fight we've seen zugar the wind one hit away basically Let's see. Could have just been a wreck. Oh, this guy might be. This has turned into a good old Minus Morgul. Oh. about that big eye that's always watching us. I liked Morgul the way it was before you messed it all up. Yeah, it's okay. You're going to be in my game show. <laughs> oh, there it goes. He's no longer frozen. And yeah, why? <laughs> like, why would I attack that guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What happened to my grog, dude? Why does it sometimes not spawn my grog? There we go. Yeah, he, yeah, boom, pop. Gonna execute, yeah. Stab you. I'm gonna stab you. I want you to join my side. Yeah, yeah. Aw, he has abandonment issues. A one up, 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 boot up, Scooby Dub, up, boop up. 
Oh my fucking god, I'm spamming B fucking hit him, he's broken, and I wanna dominate him. Holy shit, wait, what the fuck is happening? I don't understand why I couldn't shadow. It said I needed to get focused, but I don't think that I had to do anything with focus before. Until now. But let's enter the fit pit the fit pites once again. Zuger the wind will enter Sarah Goth's next top pit fighter against Iron Fist. Zuger had the closest fight against the brawl master, immediately getting stunned. And rolls through into his gang of gang of friends. They start swinging at him. A lot more faster is the Iron Fist. He's a lot more tricky. He's a lot more faster. Headbutts and tosses down one of the wind's uh, Uruk buddies. Ooh, grabs him in the chokehold. Choke slam to the ground. And he gets taken on that four-on-one big cleave to the shoulder. As he's broken, he slides through. Gets up forward, slides, grabs the foot, and into the face. Beautiful combination. And he takes it very quickly back. Zuger the wind. Zuger the wind. You better be a real fighter. Versus the Swift. Who will win? Ooh, a little bit of showboating early on as Zuger's group rushes him, tossing him into the group like a lamb to a pack of wolves. Ooh, but a big swipe grabs him and tosses him down to the ground, trading knockdowns early on in the round. Ooh, tosses everyone down with a big blast except for one lone ranger of the group. Spear! Spears him in half! And with the claws! A beautiful play. Knocks everyone down with this big swing. I think that might be why they call him the swift triple strike. Ooh, stuns him again. Knocks him down further, making more space between them, holding up the shield. He hasn't been hit like one spear again! Spear to the guy who is about seven levels higher than him. But then again, in Mordor, levels don't matter! They literally mean nothing. The, sw the Swift knocking everyone down once again. A very promising competitor here. Ooh, big cleave to the shoulder. The wind is not is known to come back from hard-fought situations. As I say that, gets his arm cut off and his head removed from his shoulders. Bulg the Swift winning the round. All right, I think this is going to be the last guy I try for the night, and then I'm going to go to bed because it's nearly 2 a.m. I'm really annoyed that the the one guy just did nothing the whole time, barely even hit him. He has a big swing that did stuff, though, so maybe that will come into play more often in these fights? I don't know. We're gonna drop off, and then... Oh. I guess it does use focus? He's dazed now. Okay, bop. Master. your service, you're chosen. You're chosen. Bog the Swift versus the Bone Crusher. Bone saw is ready. Can Bog be the one? He had an insane match with the big swipes. Gets a stab off early. A lot of blocks, controlling the pace of the match so far. Karagor takes him. Karagor is dangerous, takes some swipes at the Karagor. Karagor is still alive. Bulg 
Ooh, was planning to do something. Gets scooped up by the Bone Crusher, though. He was charging up something. Spear! The classic spear from Bog the Swift. He takes his shield out. The Karagors assault him, but he gets back up. He is nothing but, dur if not durable. And a big swipe stab grabs him and slams him down. Breaking the Bone Crusher. Getting prepared with the block and ooh, stabs him right through the gut. A beautiful placement strike there as Bolg moves on to the second round. Nobody has passed the second round in Saragoth, which is Olog country. Can Bolg be the first one to do it? Bolg the Swift coming off of his first round victory. Fighting the odds against two Karagors will go up against Booth the Savage. And Saragoth's next top pit fighter. Oh, immediately right out the gate with the shield bash. Slams the ground, but a beautiful backs up, but creates the distance for him to slam him down with the spear. Oh, taking out a large portion of his health with that spear. He does not want to create distance. Enraged by mortal wounds, though. Big blocks and beautiful placement by Bolg the Swift. They call him Swift for a reason. That's the fastest thing we've ever seen here in Saragoth's next top pit fighter. The first ever person to make it to the championship round. Will Bolg the Swift become Saragoth's next top pit fighter? Let's find out. I'm spamming X. I want you guys to all know I'm spamming X right now. I'm literally clicking the button and the game has it down there. It says Talion Strike, but guess what? It doesn't want to do it because this game is really stupid sometimes. Oh, man. Bulg, Bulg the Swift will take on Horza the Marauder in the final round of Saragoth's next top pit fighter. Fighter, If he can put, pick up the win... He will be Saragoth's next top pit fighter. Another archer. Bulg the Swift took down an archer very fast. Can Bulg do it again? Come on. I'm ready for ya. Ooh, both out the gate fast. The Swift caught off guard by the speed of the Marauder. It puts down a bear trap. A little bit of showboating there. Hunter's in the back. He doesn't want to move onto the space, but he grabs him out of the bear trap with a spear clobbering his skull, blood splattering the snow in Olog country for another spear. No, he knocks him back. Oh, and stuns him. Could Balg the Swift pick up another fast win? Charges him, grabs him, and tosses him to the floor like he's nothing. Balg the Swift takes Saragoth as the top pit fighter. Eee. Saragoth's next top pit fighter kind of dummy Braxton on God. He could win the whole thing. But for me, this is going to be it for the night. I hope you guys enjoying or enjoying the series. I don't know where this is going to be. As always, it could be the middle, the end, the beginning. Who knows where this is getting placed. But I appreciate everybody who's been watching the series. It's been getting a lot of love, and I really, really, really appreciate it, as always. It, it makes me very happy and feel like a lot of my work is worth what I'm doing. But I would be doing this anyways, even if uh, you guys, uh, even if nobody watched it, because I enjoy it, I do this. But you guys watching it just makes it 20 billion times better. So I appreciate you guys. See you uh, whenever I record this again. But maybe you'll see me now because this is the middle of an episode. I don't know.